Right, so I think I'm a recording now, so I'm just gonna play. E4, not going for two boring lines. And we'll see how our opponent responds with e5. Knight of three as always, just some normal line, and this time I opt to play. Let's just play a scotch. Takes. You could play scotch gambits, but that's and now I guess we're just better. Only if Queen F6 comes, then he might be somewhat worse, but C5 is definitely not a move here, because you're going to you're gonna have a structure with D65. And D65 um, just indicates to me that, you know, you have a backwards pawn on D6, and your structure is just going to be weak. So what I have to do is here, just drop the bishop back, we play bishop here. I know the bishop belongs here, because maybe I get some tactics. Um, now, however, maybe not so much, but this pawn is now not moving, he hasn't developed anything. Um, I could opt for d5, rook b8, bishop c4, with f3 b8. Maybe I have this. Takes takes a check here and then i could take here for example yeah I, i'm gonna try to challenge him i don't know if it's good but i'm gonna try to challenge this line with uh, the line i just calculated because it is weakening the rook that's for sure and i'm stopping his plan for now so as plans bishop c4 and after queen e7 i was planning to play this F6. F6 is already really weakening. So I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Let's go bishop here. And now that. All right, so let's investigate. Obviously, after this trade, I don't know what's going on, but he attacks this twice, that's the problem. Also go... Might have uh, ruined immediately. I might have screwed this up already. Yeah, I have to go something, if I go bishop, queen here, like this, and then I have to kind of go back like this. Or he takes with the queen. Here, queen takes, check, takes, takes, then I have takes. So if I drop back at d3, bishop takes is the most challenging line. Then I have queen e2. And then I wonder what to do. He could obviously take another pawn. I take queen, takes, and then I take rook. But I don't think that would happen. Let's just play, let's just play this. They're definitely not happy with the position. I felt like I 
was rushing a bit. Ah, yes, bishop takes on g2 then, perhaps. Anyways, this is forced. I don't see another line. Bishop takes d2, queen takes, bishop takes, and then rook g1 would really be good for me. So maybe bishop takes g2 something I missed, but not something that's inherently bad from my point of view. And now we could just castle, which really helps my position. Because if I play f3, the problem is bishop takes on c2. I cannot take the bishop because I'm pinned there. So I try to solve that by, well, castling. I could also try or consider bishop a6. But I don't know. Rook d1 and... Okay, I could try something like this and then rook a1. I think I should just castle. That makes most sense to me to just castle here and play knight c3. And this whole target is also gone. He still has a lot of pieces to develop. And, you know, the position is actually looking quite okay. Now, bishop a6 comes. Well, actually, there's even bishop b5. Probably even better. Because that comes with tempo. That comes with tempo. No, but then you have this. Now let's go bishop a6, actually. I think actually bishop a6 is better than b5. The point being is after b5, bishop, there's king f7, and we cannot play on the fact that this is a pint. Uh, this is a pint. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, so if you go here, What happens? Bishop goes back. And this is still there. So hard to play, but I really think we should just uh, develop the pieces. Like, if you don't know what to do, just develop your pieces, put them on better squares, right? I I'm trying to look for tactics here already, but I don't see any, so I have to be patient until my bad tactical vision is good enough to get like an easy, um, an easy tactic. And usually, like the mo those like positional developing moves, are good moves. Okay, he try decides to castle in a way. Position looks really awkward at the moment. Okay. Rook E1 seems very natural. Yeah, we're gonna play it. Well, we definitely don't want to do this exchange queens in these positions. An interesting development, because now I do think there are tactics in this line, because I have bishop, I have knight takes, 
And after pawn takes, this whole diagonal opens up of the king, right? So I have bishop here, check. After bishop h here, check. You can't go back with the king, because then I just take this pawn. You cannot go here. So you have to kind of go here. To which I feel like there has to be something. So knight takes here, bishop back, mid check, king g6. And maybe, maybe it's even like h4, followed by h5. You could even be more patient about this. Take first. And then play like um, rook ad1, bring the last piece in the game, and then we start doing tactics. So I think even though it doesn't, you know, it's not a um, thematic way of thinking like checks, captures, threats, we prefer to do the threat over the capture. Maybe it's not the best move at all, but I do feel uh, maybe it's actually better to do it that way. Or not, I have no clue. Let's give the check. Let's give the check. Let's... And then play rook ad1. Because if I played rook ad1 first, maybe there's queen d7 and then I cannot take the pawn. Now I can take the pawn. Yes, I can. Okay. So it's defended twice. Yes, there is an option for this, but then after it takes, takes rook check, king b, bishop back. I don't see how we are going to deliver anything in this line. But the king is essentially stuck to where it is. And that's a good sign. I think the best line here actually is to go back with the queen to e2. The pairing moves like rook d1, but also bishop b5. And on top of that, we also have something like this. So I really think, yeah, like he's never gonna castle. So we're gonna be fine in these sort of positions. Rook AD1, since Bishop B5 is not really there, we're kind of getting into time trouble phases. Goes back. Goes back. Give a check. Let's go here. Queen d1, I have bishop e6. d6. Excuse me. Knight h6 just takes. Yeah. So I guess this position is busted now. Let's double check here if it takes F this mate. Yeah, let's just play it. And still, there's like a lot of Zook Swangish ways. Three, two, three. Okay, now I can take. Let's 
Take this. If it, it took with the knight, I could take here. That was the whole idea. Like, I wasn't really trying to play it on the cause of like, blunder or something. But, um, he'll try to flag us a bit. Which is fine. But, uh, it's busted anyways. There we go. Oh, I almost missed that one. I made it one. <laughs> yeah, I, I took the most efficient route, I guess. Yeah, you made it easy for us. Okay. Great game, great game, great game, great game. So if you go to the analysis without engine, after take stakes, takes takes, I think the only way to equalize for white uh, for black is to play queen of six. Point being that you help yourself develop. This isn't inherently dangerous. But you could go knight here. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you can also just go back and you're still fine. I have no clue. Bishop g5 is fine. f4. Anyways. Um, c5 inherently bad. Engine kind of agrees. We drop back the queen, but yeah, this also feels bad. Queen here. Oh, was the right move. Bishop c5 was not the best move. Um, and then my question becomes. Why did I not see this rook? Why did I not see the check? I have no clue. <laughs> um, but any anyways, I saw this line and I kind of just went for it before I was in this position, I guess. So that's a mistake in my thinking process. Still, I thought we were just fine after this. But it took some time to calculate. Okay, maybe... I don't get it. 3.3. Advantage is 3.3, but I don't see the move. This is still fine, by the way. But okay, let's continue. Knight there. Rook in the game. And here we took. Definitely good. We gave the check, and then gave another check. Drop back, which will the best move for sure and then we took played our queen in the game there and here we just kind of waited for the you know the ancestral blunder and what g5 essentially does is make f6 weak so after take takes i envisioned myself to take here and then have a mate but he took with the queen um so here i could Another swoops, and then yeah, the the way to mate was a bit more intangent, but uh, we got the job done, and we successfully reached eighteen hundred. I'm really happy with that. See you guys next time.